Hello YouTube viewers, welcome back to another video tutorial. In this video tutorial we're just going to cover a couple of aspects that may have happened or you may have problems with your DDWRT router not giving you access to the internet. This can happen for a few reasons. You're either not getting a, an IP dished out from your ISP router. Now I may refer to ISP router and all that's referring to is internet service provider router. Now you may have purchased a modem router yourself but I'm just referring to a dual router setup which is what you'll have if you've had a router from us. So basically you'll have two routers, your ISP router and your DDWRT router. Now, you, first of all, you need to check that you're getting internet access from your internet service provider's router to your DDWRT router, which I'll cover. The DDWRT router, you may find reboots every five minutes. If that's the case, it's definitely not going to an IP dished out from your ISP router. It could be one of a few reasons. It could be somebody's disconnected your Ethernet cable by mistake to hoover up or to move something or whatever. It could be that the Ethernet cable's faulty. It could be your ISP router needs rebooting. It could be many things. But basically, there's a keep alive uh, section in the DDWRT router that basically every 300 seconds will check that it's got internet access. If it hasn't, it will reboot and try and gain internet access from your for sure internet service provider's router to give it an IP. So I'm gonna cover that. Um, I'm gonna cover the kill switch because it seems to elude a lot of people that if you're, one day your router might be working fine, you're getting out into the internet, etc., And then the following day or whatever, later on in that day, it doesn't work. Um, and people sort of elude the paragraph that are, it's in the paperwork that says about the kill switch. The kill switch, just quickly, is there to protect you. If your VPN stops for any reason whatsoever, without a kill switch, you would continue surfing thinking you're protected by your VPN when you're not because obviously it's stopped. So what a kill switch does is basically stops any internet access in or out of your DDWRT router, so it alerts you you've got a problem. So without further ado, I'm just going to run through a few things anyway on uh, how hopefully we can get this resolved very quickly for you. Uh, what I will say as well is, just basically just have make sure you've only got one ethernet cable coming from your isp router into the internet side of your ddwrt router okay just leave that as that's how it has to be so to access the ddwrt router you're going to need to be connected to the ddwrt router either by ethernet cable or wi-fi so first of all you're going to know your own system, you're going to know how to connect to your DDWRT router, but you're not going to be able to gain access to that unless you're connected to it, basically. So, without further ado, I'm going to assume that at this moment in time, you've checked your wiring from your ISP router. You're going to have an Ethernet cable from that into the internet side of your DDWRT router, and your PC, laptop, or however you're wanting to access the GUI, the graphical user interface of your DDWRT router, is basically you're connected to that. So you're going to open a browser. In your browser, you're going to put the IP of your router. Now, if you've had it from us, it's going to be 192.168.12.1 and click enter. Now you're going to be greeted with this GUI, which is the graphical user interface of the DDWRT router, okay? First thing to check before you even sign in or do anything is you've got a one IP, okay? If that's blank, there's your problem. You're not getting an IP from your internet service provider router. So more than likely, rebooting your ISP router will resolve the problem. Great, if that does for you. If not, move on to the second part. Click on any of the tabs across the top and that will be greeted with a, a username and password. If you've had it from us, it's gonna be admin. And then the password is gonna be password. What I will say is if you use an Internet Explorer, you may find this box doesn't pop up and it's actually behind here. Um, and also you may find if you've actually signed into your router before that it may be cached on your in your browser and you don't need to actually enter the username and password so just be aware of that guys it's gonna if you if it takes you straight to this page great if it doesn't you're going to need to put your username and password in okay so we're assuming that you've got a one ip up here as i say if you haven't reboot your isp router and it should come back um the odds are 99 percent of problems or contact that we get of people although it isn't that many but on the odd occasion we get it 99% of the time it's down to your VPN provider has changed something on the server so to just to verify that's the case you must have a one IP up there as I say and then click on status open VPN anything other than connected success basically your VPN stopped 
okay and now the reason why you can't access the internet through your DDWRT router is because we've put a kill switch in if you click on administration commands you'll see that the firewall has got a kill switch here script which basically stops you getting out onto the internet or anything it coming in if the VPN is stopped okay now if you wanted to prove a point there you could just click edit pop it into this window where it says commands highlight it all and click delete and then click save firewall and then it would be blank and then you'd be able to access the internet but obviously you're not still not protected by VPN so we strongly recommend you leave this in because it's there for your protection and it just alerts you you've got a problem with your VPN right on this video I'm not going to cover how you actually change a server for your VPN provider we've got a few in, in the YouTube videos we haven't got a, a video covering your provider we more than likely send you some paperwork or link you to a page where it would tell you if you're still struggling you could ask us to maybe do a video for you demonstrating that generally speaking we've done the popular ones um, NordVPN, I, uh, PIA, v, IP Vanish, to name a few. So I'm really going to leave it there because I don't want to go on too long. I just wanted to make it as short and sweet as possible. But this is just really just as a first point of call if your DDWRT router has stopped giving you internet access. Okay, hopefully it's been some use to you. Please give us a thumbs up if it's helped you. Um, remember to subscribe to the channel and uh, hopefully we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.